Hey, what's up, Mark? Hey, Thomas, what's going on? Hey, Mark, your car's looking pretty good. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, working on a car is a lot of hard work. A lot of late nights, a lot of favors, you know, just trying to find all the right pieces to make sure your build is just the way you want it. It's missing one little touch. It's like 99% done to me. You need hardware! Lately, I've been trying to think what's the best thing I can add for it. PC, keep it 100. Welcome back to another episode! Well, we are stressfully trying to get Charlie's car done for Import Alliance this weekend. Yeah. The car is on the ground. We bled the brakes yesterday and the clutch twice. <laughs> twice. After we bled the brakes, which I'll show you footage now. Moving right along. Now he's putting the axles in. He's got that super dope hardware. The 100 proof. Mark's down in the slumps today. I, I am down in the slumps today because I hurt my back yesterday because I'm old and fat and just trying to recover. Okay, so right now we're bleeding Charlie's brakes. We just bled the uh, clutch. That was pretty quick. So he's pumping the pedal and then he's gonna hold it. What's up, fam? Once we were done, we realized the master was leaking, so we had to buy a new master and redo the whole system again, super carefully. So where are we at? Well, really hasn't been a whole lot of time to film everything. So what we have here is the coolant hoses hooked up, the shifter cables hooked up. Uh, we've got the fuel pressure regulator on the top there. We have the whole harness hooked up. Uh, running through the firewall. We're about to start to get that all wired up. And really it's just an odd couple odds of ends left. He's now putting on the hood and luckily it clears on the high side for the EG mounts, for the Hotsport mounts. So we're not having any issue there. Tucked radiator looks nice. Everything seems to be fitting pretty decent. I've got this wonderful job of trying to finagle all of this wonderful mess um, it's actually pretty straightforward he has a k-tune sub harness you just have to hook up a couple of wires the uh, fuel pump check engine lights alternator light uh, it's got hookups for the fan switch o2 sensors but uh, this ecu is a k-pro that is tuned to this engine uh, sh hopefully we won't run into any issues with this but we're going to figure it out. I've got to get it all wired up. You can find wiring diagrams on um, Google, on k website of how to wire this in. It's really, should be only about three wires to wire in to get the car started and running. And then the rest of it is trying to just um, make sure all the sensors and fan and all that stuff is wired up properly. So i got to get busy on this and we will return back with you shortly. Magic car, magic car. Well, we've got this thing all wired up, ready to see if we can get this thing to start. I'm betting there's going to be fuel leaks. If not, I'll be amazed. Uh, but we can't disable the alarm. Because the remote's dead. Because the remote's dead. So, just waiting to see if we can start this thing. 
Well, it'll eventually stop. Yeah, see if it, the power kicks on. Okay. Yeah, hold on, Jordan. Shh. Yeah. Okay, we got nothing. <laughs> okay, so we figured out all of our power issues, all of our fuel leak issues. Turn of damn key. <laughs> she raw dogging. Okay, so where are we at on this thing? We've got this thing fully wired, fully functional. It starts up, it runs. Uh, got fluid in the transmission, oil in the engine. Still haven't put coolant in this thing just yet. Uh, we've still got a couple of other little odds and ends to take care of. Uh, with the fans as far as wiring, but we're gonna have to button all that up later I've got all that stuff wired I need to put everything else back underneath the dash So Hood is on So it really hasn't been a whole lot to film we've just been trying to get this thing done and uh, you know, we just wasn't sure if we're gonna finish it so that's what we've been doing and that's where it's at uh, we should be at import Alliance this weekend in Atlanta so come see us come see the car come say what's up um, yeah so grounds are on I've got the ground from the valve cover down here and then there's a transmission ground right there uh, some of the fuel lines and the wiring and things like that are kind of messy, but uh, he, Charlie plans to kind of redo those after the fact and kind of redo the fuel setup and um, kind of clean up the wiring and, and the, the fuel lines a little bit. But this is just the way we have it for now, just to make sure that the car is running and up and going. So that's where we're at. So yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to be working on my car. And you guys should see that for sure. So you can see that we're doing some MPC hardware, the Hunter Proof Hardware Kit, which I am in love with. It looks gorgeous, uh, the way the fit and finish is. And the quality is superb. Um, right here, I'm pretty sure they sent me uh, the battery tray bracket. So I'm going to pull that out and take a look at that. Okay, so this is the pretty cool battery tray that we got here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install this and then get busy on installing... The rest of this kit, I'm probably not gonna get to install all of the hardware today just because I'm kind of running out of time and we've been messing with Charlie's car so much that we really haven't had a whole lot of time to really attack mine. So I'm gonna try to get as much as done as I can today and then probably attack some tomorrow when we leave for Import Alliance. So I'm gonna get busy on this. The reason why I chose the MPC hardware is because they have a super high level of quality. They actually started out in medical grade products and each piece is hand selected and hand inspected. The quality control that they go through is really amazing. I've still got a lot more to do and a lot more to prep for this weekend. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Click subscribe, click like if you like this video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, keep living your dreams. These don't look import alliance ready. <laughs> About to only walk like that. <laughs> Keep them on it. I love nice bolts. <laughs> That's a dish. Wait. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Mark, your bay's looking good and all, man. But I tell you what, you really need. You need something to set this off. My boy's got it. Yo, check it. I got these bolts, man. <laughs> this car's looking real good, man. But you know what you're missing? You're missing some good looking hardware. I got a friend for you. Got these bolts, man. I'll tell you this right here, hundred proof. You know what I'm saying? But check it, check it. Ooh, well that's what you need right there. You know what I'm saying? 
What's going on, Mark? Man, your car's looking real good, but your hardware is not. <laughs> <laughs> God, There's your hardware on the ground.